all right so let's talk water filtration so what is water filtration all right so let's talk about water filtration and purification for most of you folk you'd think it's a fancy filter and yes it is and we're going to end up with a fancy filter at the end of this video however successful clean water to your home and your tap and your body starts with a really good roof and unfortunately this is not a good example the thatch roof is the worst type of roof to catch water you want to have tin or something that's hard and doesn't erode in essence but nevertheless on my gutters I've installed these socks just to stop all the grass from falling in but this water is just the worst so clean roof is the first in having successful and clean water that's filtered to your home secondly you get a variety of leaf catchers and we have a leaf catcher here which basically stops the bits and pieces from going into the <coughs> tank and that's a you know a, a, a made by a corporation and here's a low tech handmade um, leaf catcher or first flush as they would call it and so what happens is my dirty roof from that's where that pipe is, my tin roof. On the first rain, let's say that it hasn't rained now for a few months, would get the rain, first rains, and all that dirt would fill up this tank. And when the tank is full, and it has a mesh screen on top, so it stops the leaves from going in, and obviously all the dirt, it would fill up that tank, and when that tank is full, there is a T piece there on top, which basically sends water through to the main water reservoir so that makes sure that all the dirt gets first you know the tank fills up with that dirty water and then the cleaner water goes through and obviously the size of your tank depends on how much dirt it can take and then after the rain you blast it out just like this you know and you have all the dirt come out you can uh, drain it to your garden perfect ready for the next first flush of the next rain then the water filtration starts with a successful rainwater tank and in my case or well I've learned from the masters the floor has got to be slanted in so it's got to go to a point and that point the lowest point is called the sump and that sump is got a blast out valve just here so I can blast that water out from the bottom of my tank so I don't have to go on my knees <coughs> with a sponge and a cloth and clean all that muck out I literally open the valve it's a 50 mil pipe and I blast that <coughs> excuse water right out the water for my biochar filter which is the ultimate in water in the DIY water filtration yes there's fancy systems out there and they'll cost you from four to ten thousand dollars for a really fancy system but a low-tech robust water filter biochar slow sand filter will do just the same and it will take you a weekend to make and you know you can do it with your hands just for under 500 US dollars so it's a really simple one let me show you here it is Nemo here it is here's the little puppy uh -uh. out my goal so I've learned how to build one of these in Thailand from Josh Kearns, a really a master in biochar filtration on the planet right now. So we actually did a, a DIY hands-on 10-day workshop with loads of theory. And I'm not going to plummet your head right now with all the theory. But basically you've got 100 liters, half of this drum filled with gravel. And it's an upflow gravel filter. So the water enters from the bottom from my water tank. And important to mention here that the water taken from a water tank is slightly higher about 20 centimeters than my blast out valve so all the muck settles and that's an important part in water filtration is the settling Sunny? 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 Come! Sunny? Excuse me my dogs are just going mad so it's an important part to mention about 
the water filtration is that you take the water higher than your lowest point otherwise this filter can't handle all the muck it's really designed to take that cleaner water well without the serious big bits and pieces and then it gets pushed from the bottom up it overflows here it goes through the sand a hundred liters of sand and it's graded sand from smaller particles to chunky at the bottom and then a bit of gravel at the bottom and then it again overflows up and goes top down through a hundred liters of biochar so the gravel takes out the bigger particles the sand takes even the smaller particles and the biochar is takes out the nanoparticles the e coli viruses and just all the tiny little bacteria that just could be harmful for us the biochar filter catches it because one cubic meter of biochar has the same amount of pores if all these pores are spread out all the cavities are spread out the surface area of an entire tennis court can you believe it so tremendous surface area you can just look at some pictures of biochar under the microscope uh, it's the same thing as activated carbon but activated carbon is an uneco-friendly version of biochar biochar we make it ourselves we used wattle which is in south africa an alien tree that nobody wants but in essence it's any hard tr hardwood tree and we chopped it up in little nuggets um, about five centimeters long about three four centimeters wide we chopped it up we burned it in a DIY biochar well DIY gasifier which is two steel drums with a 20 liter bucket paint bucket on top so low-tech simple cheap and not nasty <laughs> basically we've got a hundred liters of biochar graded clean screened little nuggets or about five millimeter diameter little hard nuggets no dust is in that third tank and that goes through that and then the final tank obviously got the clean water which is then taken to my pump which sits right there i'll show it to you uh, just now so that's in essence a successful filtration now this water i had it tested i've got test results phenomenal 200 times better than tap water coming out of my tap and that's my pool water my pool which is open to the air and um, you know basically gets pumped through to the biochar filter um, i'm using my pool as a reservoir which is a storage and then all of these things are going to be linked very soon with my water tank here but in essence just city pool with all the pollution coming into it this puppy treats that water at 300 liters per day and the water is still 200 times better on many of the chemicals that are found in tap water this water is negligible or non-existent at all it takes it all out so that's in essence what water filtration means in really down-to-earth simple terms and with that i want to show you my high pressure pump and a municipal disconnect which basically allows me to switch off the municipal supply and switch on this pump all right here she is so it's all wired up and basically it kicks in every time i switch on any of the water taps in the house it just goes and it kicks in and here's the municipal disconnect here are the beasts that are making all the noise all right so here i actually got somebody to help me with this because this was a little bit beyond me with all the copper and um although i did install the 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 the, the pressure switch here but what i want to show you is are those two valves so that one with the black plastic and um, next to it that's going from a pump and this is from municipal so i'll switch off the municipal switch on my pump and off i go and i'm off the water grid so that's what water filtration and water purification really means in simple terms of a diy and so oh <laughs> excuse me, of a diy hands-on uh, practitioner homeowner so do it it's really simple i've done it i've teach the stuff in my abundance of water course so i want you to know that uh, it's really doable and i have taught <laughs> thousands of people around the world how to do create these filters they rock amazing stuff 
Oh, and by the way, the biochar, you obviously have to clean out every three years, but that's so, such minimal. It takes a couple of hours to make the biochar and to clean it, maybe another two hours, three hours. And you have to do that once or three years because it gets saturated with all the viruses and all the particles that then you just put that onto your compost and put make fresh biochar and uh, off you go you've got another three years at 300 liters a day it's not bad for a filter that'll cost you not more than 300 dollars i think i made it for 200 dollars really simple with everything that you you buy for it everything all the plumbing alice all the best enjoy it and i look forward to be seeing you in the next video